Metal Gear, a fearsome fictional weapon that threatens the world with nuclear holocaust, serves as both the basis and the title for one of the most celebrated franchises in interactive entertainment. The creation of director Hideo Kojima, the Metal Gear saga spans five groundbreaking games and a series of spin-offs that have combined to sell tens of millions of copies worldwide. Since its debut in 1987, the Metal Gear story has spawned a rich and unforgettable world full of fascinating characters, epic conflicts, and futuristic themes. But as Kojima and his team began preparations for the third game in the Metal Gear Solid series, Snake Eater, the clock was turned back in time, giving gamers a glimpse into this saga's genesis. Released in North America and Japan for the PlayStation 2 console in 2004, and in Europe the following year, Snake Eater was met with enormous commercial and critical acclaim. Critics and fans alike applauded the game for its unique survival-based gameplay, stunning visuals, and powerful narrative. Set in the jungles of Russia, Snake Eater reveals a formative chapter in the life of Big Boss, father and later foe of series protagonist Solid Snake. The year is 1964, and international spies have replaced infantry soldiers on the invisible battlefield known as the Cold War. In an 11th hour agreement between the United States and the Soviet Union, the U.S. government, hoping to abate the Cuban Missile Crisis, negotiates the return of Soviet scientist Nikolai Sokolov to the communist bloc. Crucial to shifting the tides of the Cold War, Sokolov is the target of a former Special Forces agent assigned to bring him back to American soil. That agent, a Green Beret named Jack, is codenamed Naked Snake. As with every installment in the series, Kojima populated Snake Eater with a colorful cast of characters. While the early appearance of the treacherous Revolver Ocelot was sure to please fans, no character played a more pivotal part in Jack's story than his mentor, the Boss. This mysterious woman warrior symbolized one of Snake Eater's most essential themes, maternity. It's through this mother-son relationship that Snake Eater's narrative shifts from a straightforward 60s style spy caper into an intricate tale of love, loyalty, and the call of the mission. But defining the unusual relationship between Jack and the boss would prove to be a challenge. え、even though Kojima's initial concept for the boss was discarded, she remains a truly unforgettable character. In more ways than one, the boss defined Jack, who would go on to best her in battle and assume her title. Jack would eventually resurface as the mysterious antagonist of the next chapter of the Metal Gear Saga.
Although the original Metal Gear was the first game released in the long-running series, its narrative picks up where the events of Snake Eater leave off. Delving deeper into the troubled life of Jack, known then simply as Big Boss. A young Hideo Kojima found himself creating the first Metal Gear on assignment from Konami Management. He was asked to create a combat-driven game. Not for the new and powerful NES console, but for the MSX2 home computer. A system with a much smaller user base than Nintendo's popular platform. え、Unprecedented in its approach, Metal Gear shipped for the MSX2 platform in Japan in 1987. With its tension-filled hide-and-seek style of play, the game was immediately applauded by Japanese gamers. But it wasn't until the next year, when Metal Gear was ported to the Nintendo Entertainment System, that something unexpected happened. ファミコンの部署の人たちが僕を抜きでですね、作ったのがファミコン版です。あの、全く関与してません。で、ま、そうは言えですね、ファミコン版で出て全世界で発売されて、アメリカで特に100万本売れまして、非常にヒット突破した